Hey what's up you guys it's GB Fire and today we're back with another Genshin video and we're going to be taking a look at the hidden achievements in the game. Now before we get into the video let's talk about what hidden achievements are. Now what hidden achievements are is if you look in take a look into your achievement book you are not going to see that achievement until you actually unlocked it. So it's going to be really hard finding these. Now there are some achievements that you can just get from playing through the story quest as well as just playing the game for example like the lava churl you have to defeat him before his like shield expires i feel like that's pretty easy and like you just kind of coincidentally get through playing the game the other obvious ones are like those cubes and one you either have to destroy the electric cubes um lifeline thingy before it gets to regenerate or for the wind cube, you just have to collect all four of those little elemental thing before it even like recharges back up again or revives again. Same thing with the geo boss as well. You're going to have to destroy all of the pillars before it regenerates its health. It's, it's those simple ones I'm not going to be talking about, but the achievements that I am going to be talking about are the ones that you would have to kind of actively search for or even know about it beforehand. So you know what, let's get right into that. Now I'm gonna be splitting these uh, achievements into three categories. Ones that can be found in uh, Mondstadt, the other ones can be found in Liyue, and the other ones just anywhere in the world or at any time. So for the very first hidden achievements, it's going to be in Storm Terror's Lair. You're going to climb on top of the tower and you're going to have your Geo main character. And you're going to climb on this broken pillar right here. And with your E, you're going to pop open a rock. And you're going to climb on top of the tower just like this. And boom, there you go. The remains of Gale. Now, I actually forgot to say that the hidden achievements can only be found in the Wonders of Worlds here. And if you take a look into it, there is no achievement that's going to say sit on the statue's hand. It says play a game with uh, little Lulu and, you know, complete a fishing Jingju, help him repair Wang Shu's in Broken Bridge. There is nothing that says to sit on the statue's hand. But when I do sit on uh, the statue's hand, boom, I get an achievement, Beloved of the Animal Archon. And when you look into it, there it is, free primal gems, and it says to take a seat in the hands of the god statue in Mondstadt. Those are hidden achievements. Now for the next hidden achievement, you're going to go to Star Snatch Cliff, all the way to the very top and there's going to be an island to the east as you can already tell i'm pretty sure you know what we're going to do we're going to fly to it and what i recommend is to bring amber because she has a talent of if you're gliding you actually consume less stamina if that isn't enough then go ahead and make some food where it will restore your stamina or it will decrease the amount of gliding consumption as well. But since I have enough stamina already, then it is a okay for me to just go for it. Now, once you go to the hidden island, you can easily knock out two other hidden achievements too, which is to fly over 80 seconds and glide a very long, long distance in one go. There you go, the golden gliding license. And it's the same as having wings. If I did not have amber there, I actually would have just dropped down into the sea and just died there. Now, once you reach this island, go ahead and interact with this sundial here. Once you interact with the sundial, you are going to get an accepted quest, time in the wind. And once you finish that, you get another achievement. Now, luckily, I have one of the daily commissions here, which is the food delivery. You're going to talk to Sara in Mondstadt, order the delivery food, and then what you do 
is you're actually going to go into your bag right here no no, no into your um quest kind of log here and you can actually eat the food and get your own emergency food and finally for the last hidden achievement which is also in a daily commission if you remember correctly when you reach adventure rank 12 you actually got a commission to talk to Timmy and what Timmy wanted you to do was to feed the ducks so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to kill the duck and the next day you will actually receive a special commission and it's gonna have to apologize to Timmy's mom that is also the other hidden achievement. Moving on to the hidden achievements that can only be found in Leeway, you're gonna go ahead and go to the Luiha pool here. And once you do, there's gonna be a side quest and you're gonna talk to this Vermeer guy and find his painting, tool bush, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Finish the quest and he's then going to disappear from this spot. So once you finish the quest, the NPC is then gonna move to this location. And once you talk to him, of course I can't because of this guy. Okay, now since that he's gone, you're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy. Boom, there you go. A, um, a hidden achievement right there. Now for the next hidden achievement, it's gonna be on this island up here, which you can see right there. And it's gonna be near the uh, Geo boss. So the easiest way that I find to get onto that island is if you go to the Geo Boss and you activate this four leaf clover right here. Now here's the thing though, you're actually going to need to bring a friend or at least a co-op person and it has to be your world. Go ahead and just head towards the island. And once you reach the island, there's going to be a heart shaped rock formation right here and what you're gonna do is you and your friend are going to stand inside of this heart-shaped rock formation right here once you do not only is it going to give you a hidden achievement but it's also going to give you a luxurious chest for the next hidden achievement what you need to have is a daily uh, uh, commission from Shito from this guy right here located in Li Yu Harbor so what's gonna happen is that he's gonna ask you to choose one of these three rocks and what you're gonna need to do is just randomly guess like one of them and you are either one going to miss or you're going to hit it's kind of like a 50 50 i don't know it's just all based on luck basically but you will get a hidden achievement right there i'll show it on the screen right now now for the last hidden achievement it's also going to be a daily commission so you have to wait for it and your the daily commission is going to be from Ling Ling. It's going to be located right here. And what you're going to have to do is uh, she's going to ask you to count how many ships that came in that day. And she doesn't remember. But what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to give her the wrong information or the wrong number of ships. And once you give her the wrong number of ships that came into the harbor, then you are going to then get a hidden achievement. Now moving on to the hidden achievements that you could get at any point of the game or at anywhere basically. Uh, these hidden achievements are pretty easy. So for the first one, all you got to do is just cook a bad dish. Boom, you cook a bad dish and then you are going to get a, an achievement. But not only that, if you cook 10 bad dishes... Yep, and once you cook 10 bad dishes, there you go, a hidden achievement is now unlocked. Alright, so for the next hidden achievement, what I suggest you to do is to actually kill your character. So, you could either kill your character by drowning them, but that's going to take a while. The best way is just to drop them from a very, very high height. So, once you kill them, you can then revive them, and it only gives them, like, really really low hp especially the one with the fried egg so then you approach a pig and you die there you go bored to death now for the next achievement it's going to be run continuously over 15 seconds 
and what I suggest is to have at least two wind element so you can decrease the stamina consumption by 15%. And if you have someone like Razor or, you know, Kaya, which you should have, you can actually get their talents, which is to decrease the amount of stamina consumption from sprinting by 20%. And if you don't have two wind characters and Kaya is not enough, you can just go ahead and eat uh, some food that will decrease your stamina consumption from sprinting. But talking about food, the next hidden achievement is to actually make every single one of your characters full. And once you make them all full, you should get a hidden achievement. Now the next one is pretty damn straightforward. If you take a look at the stars right here, it actually shows you how many achievement are in that section or tab. So for the first one, all you have to do is reach a crit damage of 5,000. The next one is 20,000 and the next one is going to be 50,000. So for the last hidden achievement, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to any domain, like artifact domain, it doesn't matter. And what I suggest you to do is to go to the very lowest level tier that you can do because you're not going to be accepting the, the rewards anyways. And once you start it, what you need to have is a full team of the same elements. And there you go, Fantastic Four. Alright guys, that was it for all of the hidden achievements that can be obtained in Leeway. Um, Monstat and some other uh, hidden achievements now like I said there are still a lot more hidden achievements But I'm not gonna be covering those because I feel like you're gonna get them either way Like come on reaching to the top of key peak You're gonna finish that sooner or later at one point of the game It's not like you have to like go through this trial or find some hidden thing It's literally on the map. So you're gonna finish it you're going to get the achievement and it's really easy. Anyways guys, that was it for the video. If you guys liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good morning, have a good evening, and have a good night. Peace!